So hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, new session. So in our previous sessions we have covered uh, three modules of uh, network analysis. Okay, one is module one, module two, and module five. Okay, module four and module three is pending. Uh, module three I guess I uh, won't be able to do because uh, the, uh, due to the lack of time. But uh, if possible, module three notes is available with me. I'm going to circulate it within a short amount of time. Okay, complete uh, notes of module three. So module four, it's a bit uh, small, uh, small module. Okay, in uh, four to five videos, I'm go going to cover it. The name of the module is Laplace transforms and its applications. Okay, very easy module. You can understand uh, the concepts very easily. Okay, there are some of the uh, graphs and waveforms which you need to be remembering. One is unit step, unit ramp function and how to draw uh, its periodic function uh, uh, graph with respect to Laplace transform you should be knowing it okay that I'm going to be telling in brief okay first let us see the definition of this Laplace transform definition of LT f of t f of t stands for it is a time domain function and here f of s when Laplace transform is taken it is called as Laplace transform of f of t and it is represented as f of s okay that is we can say that l of f of t that is equal to f of s and it's defined as integral of 0 to infinity f of t e to the power minus h t dt okay this is the basic definition of a laplace transform this formula you should be remembering where s is the complex frequency variable okay this s is called as the complex frequency variable when it is converted from time domain to frequency domain okay Next, let us see one small example and illustrate this uh, Laplace transform, okay. Example is, calculate the Laplace transform of f of t for k when t is greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for t less than 0, okay. That is f of t is positive or a constant value for all the t values of t which is greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for all the negative values of t, okay, where k is a constant here. Now, as f of t equal to 0, t is less than 0 according to the condition in the question. Now f of s is uh, right the general definition of f of s. f of s is equal to integral from 0 to infinity. Okay. f of t e to the power minus ht dt. Then f of s is equal to f of t you substitute it as k. Okay. k e power minus ht dt. So k take it outside. Integral of e power minus ht dt. So we know that what is the integral of e to the power minus ht that is e to the power minus ht divided by this uh, constant minus s. Okay. And the limits are from 0 to infinity. Substitute the limits. Okay. And solve it. We know that uh, e to the power minus infinity is equal to 0. Okay. So it would be 0. And here e to the power anything to the power 0 or minus 0 it is equal to 1. So k into 0 plus 1 by s. Okay. That is we can say that f of s is equal to k by s okay k into 1 by s that is k by s okay this is just one simple illustration of this laplace transform you can see here how to solve okay so we have a similar one more kind of problem one more example problem you can consider that is find the laplace transform of f of t is equal to e to the power minus a t for the value of t which is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, now how to solve this again use the formula f of s is equal to uh, integral from 0 to infinity f of t e to the power minus h t dt. So substitute the value of f of t as e to the power minus a t e to the power minus h t dt. Okay, so we have same base different powers. So use that identity and add the powers here minus e to the power minus a t minus h t dt. So in this for both the terms you can see that minus t is common so I have taken minus t common outside here so we are left with minus t into a plus s dt okay so now apply the integration for this that is e to the power minus t into a plus s divided by minus t uh, sorry minus of a plus s okay since uh, it is with this is with respect to t so we should not be taking t common here okay and with the limits are from 0 to infinity substitute it again e to the power minus infinity into a plus s we know that infinity into anything is infinity only so that's why we would be getting this whole term e to the power minus infinity only that is minus e to the power uh, minus infinity divided by a plus s plus right plus because here minus we have so minus uh, into minus is plus e to the power 0 is 1 divided by a plus s this whole term would be equal to 0 since e to the power minus infinity is equal to 0 so we would be getting our final answer as f of s is equal to 1 divided by a plus s okay 
so like this we have seen two of the important uh, uh, so how to solve similarly we have a table of laplace transform a function and its laplace transform which you need to be remembering okay that is first thing is f of t when f of t is 1 what is the value of f of s that is 1 by s okay nothing much to do with this you can substitute in the formula and solve it you would be getting 1 by s only as the answer next is f of t is equal to k when it is k that is equal to k by s when it is equal to k into f of t that is equal to k into f of s when f of t is equal to t we get our f of s as 1 by s square when f of t is equal to t to the power n we would be getting our answer as n factorial divided by s power n plus 1 okay when e to the power minus a t the answer is 1 divided by s plus a which you have seen just now okay when f of t is e to the power plus a t our answer will be getting 1 divided by s minus a okay this table you should be remembering very important okay next we have few more that is e to the power minus a t into t power n that is equal to n factorial divided by s plus a to the power n minus 1 then Laplace transform of sin omega t is omega divided by s square plus omega square the Laplace transform of cos omega t is s divided by s square plus omega square then Laplace transform of e power minus a t sin omega t is omega divided by s plus a the whole square plus omega square then Laplace transform of e power minus a t cos omega t is s divided by s plus a the whole square plus omega square Similarly, we have for hyperbolic functions, two of the hyperbolic functions, sine and cos, okay. One is sine h omega t is, that is given as omega divided by s square minus omega square and for cos h omega t it is given as s divided by s square minus omega square. Next is t into e to the power minus a t for this its Laplace transform is given as 1 divided by s plus a the whole square. Then 1 minus e to the power minus a t it is given as a divided by s into s plus a, okay. Like this we have few of the general terms of Laplace tra general terms and its Laplace transform which you need to be knowing okay so let us see few more examples one is let us try to find the Laplace transform of uh, sine omega t okay that is here we are we have given it as sine omega t its Laplace transform is omega divided by s square plus omega square let us see we get this answer or not okay so we know that sine omega t or we can say that sine theta it is given as e to the power j theta minus e to the power minus j theta divided by 2j right if you uh, observe this equation and this equation here in place of theta what we have omega t so that's one change i've made it here and written it as sin omega t is equal to e to the power j omega t minus e to the power minus j omega t divided by 2j okay yeah now for this we should be taking the laplace transform so what I am taking is I am applying one property linearity property that is L Laplace transform of first term that is e to the power j omega t divided by 2j minus Laplace transform of second term e to the power minus j omega t divided by 2j okay so here I am taking 1 by 2j common we are left with uh, Laplace transform of e to the power j omega t okay let us see uh, what we will be getting our Here we have e to the power j omega t. If you compare this with the, here we have written one formula for e to the power a t is equal to 1 divided by s minus a. So here in this place, in place of a, we have j omega. Okay. So that for that you can formula, you can use it and you can substitute it as uh, e to the Laplace transform of e to the power j omega t is equal to 1 divided by s minus a. That is in place of a what we are having j omega. So 1 divided by s minus j omega. Okay, similarly minus 1 by 2j take it common and here we have Laplace transform of e to the power minus j omega t or here we have e to the power minus a t that is given as 1 divided by s plus a. So here what I have written 1 divided by s plus j omega. Okay, hope this is clear. We have taken the Laplace transform of these two terms. Next, nothing much to do. Here in these two terms 1 by 2j is common. Take it common here. So we are left with the... Uh, 1 by s minus j omega minus of 1 plus s plus j 1 divided by s plus j omega so cross multiply we are getting s plus j omega minus of s minus j omega divided by these two we should be multiplying okay solve this that is s plus j omega minus multiply minus to this term minus s plus j omega so s s would be getting cancelled okay then in the denominator we have this of the form a plus b a minus b that is equal to a square minus b square s square minus j omega the whole square okay so now 
if we add this j omega plus j omega we would be getting 2j omega and here we have 2j 2j we can cancel it so we are left with omega divided by s square plus omega square so this if you split it it would be uh, minus j square omega square right so minus of what is j square j square is equal to minus 1 right so minus of minus 1 is plus 1 so we would be left with only plus omega square so that only i have written here plus omega square okay so our final answer we got omega divided by s square plus omega square that matches with the whatever we have written it here right omega divided by s square plus omega square so laplace transform of sine omega t is given like this okay similarly for cos omega t also solve it in the same way okay Laplace transform of cos omega t is given as e to the power j omega t plus e to the power minus j omega t divided by 2 okay for cos theta hope you know the formula so for Laplace transform again do the same thing split these two terms here okay then take its Laplace transform and uh, in the same way we solving this okay we would be getting our, our answer as s divided by s square plus omega square so here I would like this I've solved it you can check it out later okay so yeah, that's all for this session guys. This was just the introduction to Laplace transform of basically what is Laplace transform and how we should be solving the problems related to Laplace transform. Okay, like this the problem should be appearing. Okay, cos sine omega t, cos omega t and whatever the table I've mentioned from that any one of the question would be coming and you should be solving for the Laplace transform by using the formula which I've discussed in the starting. So again guys. Please uh, do watch this video till the end if you want to go, be, uh, if you want to understand very clearly about this Laplace transform because this is very important. So that's all for this session guys. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Be up, stay updated to our channel. Uh, the whole uh, network analysis playlist of uh, all the modules is available in our channel. You can check it out. So do watch it and uh, share it. This uh, share this playlist or share, share this channel to a huge number in your third sem. Okay. So that's all guys. Thank you. We'll see you in the next session.